you bumped into the credit space from just playing with your own just stuff. Just playing with my own then stuff. Then you took it to the next level by doing your friends and stuff credit, for right? Free. Helping them out for free. Mm -hmm. um, so I learned how important credit was in college. Got my first credit card. So my oldest credit card is from when I was 17 year old, 15 now years old. How do you know? I'm 40. So you got some time. Yeah, but I'm Apple. My brand is my brand. Yeah. Apple charges 15 for that phone, no smile. Mm -hmm. It's 15, Straight. never goes on sale, mm -hmm. right? Because their brand is their brand. So I built the brand. My man Herman, what's going on, man? Boom. How you feeling? What's good? So real quick, right? Yeah. Real name is Herman, Herman. but Instagram Haitian CEO. What do what do people call you? Cause people, I feel like people call me Herman. People call okay. me Herman. People call me um, Worm for some reason. <laughs> Um, the only people who call me Haitian CEO is the people who know me only from Instagram. Oh, okay. I promise you, bro. I was in um, in Colombia for my uh -huh. 40th, right? Minding my business, bro. I hate going clubbing, but the guys they went to the club, so I was, was over fun. it, huh? You was having fun. I was having a blast, you right? Was having fun. But for the club joint, I went. And I stood outside because I was just I could only take so much of it, uh -huh. bro. No lie to you. This dude walks up to me. He was like. Hey, this is Haitian CEO of Bella Sloan Enterprises and starts talking. He gives me, you know, I give my, my same intro. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I couldn't believe it. This is Columbia. And he gave Yeah, me, that would have threw me off. It, it threw, threw me, me off. off. I was like, stop playing. I had my mask on. I was like, you got to be kidding me. It's the first thing I said to him. But, um, but yeah, that name is just for social media. Man. It's funny because like when I talk about, people always ask about credit, business credit tips and things like that. I always say, yo, you need to get with my man Hearn. Mm -hmm. And they're like, oh, Haitian C, like... Like, I always hear people say Haitian CEO, and I feel like, damn, like, am I no, saying the wrong name? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I swear his name is Herman, yeah. but, like, am I saying the wrong name? That's crazy. But, That's look, crazy. look, real quick, though, right? Mm -hmm. For, first and foremost, um, I make sure I always give people their flowers. You definitely give me, not even just the value you give me as far as, like, knowledge and information. You were definitely somebody that been a phone call away since, you know, since the beginning. You know, you came to plenty of my classes help mm -hmm. you know talk and um being just a phone call away so i definitely appreciate that because you know in this space like everybody yeah, is not as through. high as yeah. supposed to be yeah on, on, on instagram it's different when you off instagram but you always solid on and off so i appreciate that no doubt anytime yeah bro. for sure absolutely um but how one one question i want to ask like how you even bump into the credit space? Like, cause I know you said you were working a job. Yeah. Like before, what, what was that job? Uh, so I was a software tester. Okay. Um, it's funny. I was gonna decide what shirt to wear today. Mm -hmm. I had a, it's a shirt that says um, social worker, software tester. Now it says owner. So oh, um, it has my that's history. Hot. Yeah. But um, how did I get into the credit space? So long story long, uh, my wife was pregnant with Bella, and um, we took a baby moon to Italy. And ba that's after. No, that's right before you have a baby. So you take a Is vacation. Is that safe yeah, to go to like, Italy? Yeah, we took the, we took her to Italy. That's hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like second trimester and the second trimester. Oh, okay. Not right. like third when you. No, nah, not like third because oh. she couldn't travel, right? Oh, okay, okay. So she's like five, six months, right? Took her to Italy because <clears throat> um, we know this will be the last time we'll be alone. Right. So um, we is on a train to Pisa because we was just all over Italy, right? Mm -hmm. We went to like nine different cities. We on a train. I'm looking out the window. Vineyards is beautiful. She's knocked out on the train. I'm just looking at her and I'm like, yo, I got to take two weeks off, right? Amazing trip, wonderful, but I had to ask somebody permission, right? And I never forgot that, right? And I exhausted all my vacation days, so when, when Bella came, I couldn't take time off. Mm. So it bothered me, right? It was just a seed of something. I came home, and I just happened to be rapping to my brother about it. I was like, it was crazy. Like, I really had to ask somebody permission. Like, I really can't even be here for my kids. So he's like, listen, man. And he said it off the cuff. He's like, unless you own something, you'll never be free. Right. We've heard that line from Jay-Z a hundred times. But when he said it, it resonated with me. Mm. And I was like, own something. I was like, what, what am I going to own? Like, what am I going to do or whatever? And he was like, well, you you fix people credit for free because I just give the game because. So you've been I've been I've been doing it before people knew I was Haitian CEO. I've been doing it before people knew I did credit repair. So was you doing it for people as a business or you just helping your friends? I was just family? helping my friends out because I knew the, I knew the rules. Somebody okay. put me onto it because my dad has the same name as me. Uh -huh. So his negative debt was put on my credit report because his name is Herman Dulcie. My name is Herman Dulcie Jr. So there was a lot of stuff that was on my credit report. Uh -huh. So um, this Jewish gentleman, um, my father knew, he told me, he's like, oh, just write a letter to the credit bureaus um, and just um, show them proof. Yeah. Right. 
He's like, yo, this debt is for somebody that's, at the time my dad was like 40, 45, you're like 20. And I was like, oh, he's like, yeah, because it's not correct information, they'll delete it. I was like, all right, bet. So I did it, it worked like a charm, because I had evidence, so it was a lot easier to prove it. So my brother was like, you're doing it for free for your friends, you should charge. I was like, I can't charge my friends for this, because it was necessary. I understood why credit was so important Mm -hmm. early. So he's like, then he said another second line that's in, that's famous right now. Um, they're gonna pay somebody. They might as well pay you. Mm, that's facts. That's facts. So that's and facts. the rest is history. I started. I did ten more of my friends for free. Posted them on Instagram, and then it's the ball game. So let's rewind back a little bit, real mm-hmm. quick. You said you already knew credit was important. Mm-hmm. Did you know credit was important through messing up as the younger years and you fixing it yourself? Your parents told you about credit, like. That's not a normal thing for people to already know credit is important. Usually people know credit is important when they got declined for something. Right. So I knew credit was important from Temple University. Um, I had an inkling back when I was eight. um, I think I I, I got to Temple when I was 17, so I was super young, Mm -hmm. right? One of the first courses I took as an elective year was um, real estate. And in real estate, in a real estate class, they were talking about credit. Uh So it wasn't my parents. My parents are first generation, so they didn't know anything about it. Right. Straight from Haiti. Straight from right? Haiti, yeah. Okay. So they didn't they didn't have any information to give me about credit. Okay. Um so I learned how important credit was in college, got my first credit card. So my oldest credit card is from when I was seventeen year old. Now years how do you old. Know? I'm forty. So you got some time. Yeah, I got I, my credit is credit. So I got eight hundred because my credit is yeah, super, time. super old. My first credit card is is um was um first premiere. I think it's like five hundred dollars, right? Crazy thing about that card, they Still charge six dollars a month to to keep it. So I've been giving them $6 a month for the last 20 years. But you need that. But I need I can't yeah, close you, it because yeah. it's my oldest line. Yeah, you've been yeah. tripping to close that. I've been tripping to close it, yes. Yeah, so I give them a little $6. Mm. So you bumped into the credit space from just playing with your own just stuff. Just playing with my own then stuff. Then you took it to the next level by doing your friends and stuff credit, for right? Free. Helping them out for free. Mm-hmm. And then I all post right. the results on Instagram and then people started coming in. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So credit repair is relatively new in, in Herman's space yeah. yeah about five years now because you said instagram i'm like wait a minute like yeah. we wasn't on grant for 10 years right right exactly so yeah. like you oh that's dope that's yeah. dope that's dope mm-hmm. okay so let me ask you a question mm-hmm. do you remember the first client you remember how much you charged them the first client i charged the first paid client your first paid client 250 dollars now you be tripping you be you wouldn't even <laughs> My consultation is two fifty. Like to talk to me is two fifty. Come on, that's what I'm you know saying. <laughs> nah, nah, it's two fifty to talk to me. But yeah, that it was a deal back then, and mm-hmm. it's pretty much the same game mm-hmm. that I've been. Switching. And you, um, but now it's crazy. Over the five years, the amount of information you had from then to now, to now, yeah. like, would you say that how long did you take take you to repair their credit? Uh, about a year. Every client. If I you told had that game year. that you got now, how long would you have took you to do their credit? Uh, four to six months, about half the time. So literally, wisdom, mentorship, mentorship learning, yeah. getting the game, trial and error, literally cut it down to six. Yo, me, me and Ian was just talking, mm-hmm. and I said, um, he was saying like, yo, setting up the cameras, like, I can do this in like five minutes now, you know, five, ten minutes, but it happened over years of time. Yeah. And I said, you don't pay the plumber for him fixing a leak in 10 minutes, you paid a plumber for the 10 years to taught him to learn how to learn fix how it. To fix so it. over those five years, now people are like, yo, why is he charging, you know, grand, two grand, whatever right. your credit repair costs. Mm-hmm. Like, no, you're paying for five years yeah. of him figuring it and out. thousands of clients. Thousands of clients, thousands. five years, yeah. thousands of dollars in mentorship. Mm-hmm. And uh, this turned and that's off. And that's just the five years of paid mm-hmm. clients. Like, I was doing it before that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So just on myself, my friends, my family. So that's, that's another five years right there. So you got... So it's 10 years 10 of, years right. of trial and error, of wisdom, right. of doing, of getting results and actually doing things. And people so... And the thing that burns me up, people are so non, it's to the space where like you and I, we both said, we don't care. It's like either you're with it or you're not. You're not. Yeah. I'm not because, selling myself anymore. Exactly. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. it's crazy because people are just like, ah, you charging this money? Are you doing this? Like, why, why do you think you're able to do something like that? Well, you're calling me. <laughs> That's all you have to get. You call me. Yeah, I didn't call you. Yeah. I never met you before. But right. also, I have 10 years of results. Mm-hmm. That's different. Mm-hmm. A lot of people yeah. got two months, six months. I have 10 years of results. Right. That's over $10,000. Like, what do you think 
You know what I mean? I have proof of concept. Mm -hmm. So I think I, I think it's crazy for people to even really. And I know you hear. I know I hear it, but I know you hear it all the time. Like, mm -hmm. oh, that's too high. Like, what do you think? And I know you're like, it's okay. I understand. It's just not a good fit. Like, it's how do you have that conversation? So um, I gotta be careful how I say this, right? Yeah, you got. Sister, you got to. You got my to. My sister be getting on me because to answer that question is almost a little bit arrogant because you have to say, no, I'm him. Like. You're you're paying for the ten years, mm -hmm. but but I'm Apple. My brand is my brand. Yeah. Apple charges fifteen for that phone. No smile. Mm -hmm. It's fifteen. Straight. Never goes on sale, mm -hmm. right? Because their brand is their brand. So I built a brand, right? I posted results. I posted my clients' results daily. If you follow me as uh, S A M, oh, right? It. And it's so, not. It's so it's different plenty. stuff, right? Too. It's different stuff. It's never the mm -hmm. same stuff. I post videos from time to time. So you're paying for the experience. You're paying for um, the results. You're paying for the time. Um, that's number one. Number two, um, you have to understand when you bring value to somebody, you, you know what they're giving you, mm -hmm. what, what, what you're giving to them. For example, yeah, the credit repair is a thousand dollars, right? That's, that's a lot of money. I'm not going to say it's not right. But once your credit is fixed, when you're paying, um, for the jar, the, the Dodge Challenger 7% interest and your car note is $700. And when you, when I'm done with you, you could refinance it, it drops to 5%, 4%. Now that car note drops $200, right? You're able to get the apartment now. I'm gonna Six put you Six months, on. that's... Right, yeah, oh, so... You, you already paid it back. You, you already, you're literally gonna make the money back. You're up. And now that your credit is tight, it's a lifetime of benefits, right? So how um, the money you spend for credit cards, that you're gonna get a credit card, the interest is a lot lower. Your mm. car note went down. You're gonna be able to get the apartment. Send you to my man, boom, you get into real estate. You know what I'm saying? You're going to laugh at the $1,000 you paid me five years ago. Mm -hmm. I give you a lifetime. I change your life. It's priceless. Yeah, it's priceless. It's what priceless. I'm giving you is priceless. You're going to laugh at the stack. People make money. Um, experts make money on the back end. Mm -hmm. Amateurs make money on the front end. Front end, yeah. Amateurs worry about how much they spend on the front end. Experts worry about what's the result I'm going to get on the back, back end. end. Long That's the results they're going to be getting on the back end. Mm -hmm. Cheaper car note. Uh, better apartment. All don't even have to put down first last security, security. on the apartment. Yeah. You know, that's already if you if you're paying fifteen hundred dollars a month of rent, fifteen, thirty, forty five, you already saving forty five hundred dollars mm -hmm. right there off of paying a thousand dollar credit repair. So people don't even understand they're actually shooting themselves in the foot. Foot. Right. By right. not getting on it. My we have a mutual friend in real estate, right? Mm -hmm. Um, I happened to run into him at the bank, mm -hmm. right? Great place to run into somebody. Yeah, yeah. And then he's like, Man, I got this in the collection. Know how how busy someone gets if you meet them to the bank. Yeah. I only meet the same people in the bank. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. I only meet the same people that's when we all go around to the same banks. I only yeah. meet the same, same people, people in the banks. That's funny. That's funny. That's a nugget right there. <laughs> about that. That's a nugget right there. Ran into him at the bank. And then um, he's like, man, I got this annoying collection on TransUnion. It's ho really holding me up. It's the last thing because he was doing my it on guy. home. The guy. Yeah, you know, my, my guy. Oh, my guy. Boom. I was like, well, I, I got you. Send me your information. Got it off. Did it for the love because it's, it's mm -hmm. always mutual stuff he gives yeah. me. So he texts me probably 30 days later. He's like, Herm, you just made me 25000 mm. I forgot. I just put him in my system. Mm. My assistant took care. I was like, what you mean? He was like, bro, because you got that off. Um, now this deal I can get, I don't have to put 25 down anymore because I've done so much deals with them. I got he that relationship over that seven. Once I got him over, plus the relationship he already built, mm -hmm. he's like, bro, I didn't even need to put anything down. You mm -hmm. just saved me 25 stacks. I was like, that's crazy. Another day in the life of, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, um, that type of testimonial, like that stack, if, if I had charged him, it still would have been worth it. Yeah. So it would have been worth it. It still would have been worth it. Hands down. Hands down. Now he has it. a line that he can use. Never have to put money down. Mm. It's it's a lifetime of yeah. So that's why I don't. I was like, it's a thousand, or this is just not for us. You're yeah, not for us. And it's okay. Respectfully, respectfully, mm -hmm. <laughs> respectfully, you just had to respect it. And right. If you don't understand, like I said, amateurs make money on the back end. If they don't understand the back end, then the front end is just not going to work it's out. It's not going to work out. Mm. You know. Yeah. It's yeah. Not gonna work out. This is about to be good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is about to be yeah, good. About to be good. But it's, it's so let's let's fast forward. Right. You in the credit space. You're doing your thing in the credit. You helping people. You helping thousands of people thousands, at this bro. point. Yeah. And now you jump into a new space. I don't want to say a new space. I don't mm. want to disrespect you. Right. 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 But from what I saw, you jump into a space as your credit is fixed. Now you got 700, you got 750, you got 800 now. That's really play. Now. What do you yeah, let's, play. let's really play? What do you do? Let's play. 
I can get you some money in your pocket. Yeah. Like I can get you some funding. Mm -hmm. I can get you some personal funding, and then we get into that business back end funding. What was that 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 knock on the door that said, "Yo, let me touch this let lane." Let me touch this real quick. Because I know that wasn't day one. You right, right. No, that definitely that wasn't one. day one. So how did I? Again, I fell into that. Right. Mm -hmm. So you always got to hone your craft. Right. Mm -hmm. So I'm always learning new things about credit. Blah blah blah. You go on YouTube. You just you just go down that their algorithm. Yeah. I run into business credit, and I just went down that rabbit hole. Went down that rabbit hole. Right. And I was like, wait a minute. They giving out this bag just because you got good credit and it doesn't report and then you could use this money and then it was then i had the aha moment because our people don't really even know credit that well mm -hmm. when i bring this information back to our people it's ball game i we're we're changing we're changing lives at this mm -hmm. point forget oh i'm gonna get you a cheaper car note or you can refi your house real quick. I'm about we to talk. get you a nice chunk. Yeah. I'm about to get you someone's salary in one day. In one day for you to go flip. So now I'm talking to a different audience right now. Because mm -hmm. everybody just want their credit fixed so they can get a cheaper BMW and the crib with. The <laughs> Hellcat. Now, when I bring this business credit, our people are like, what? What's it's that? like this. Wait, what's so you then run I had that to, back? What's the run, run that back? back? So now I'm educating them on it. I was like, yo, now you get this money. You can do this. You can do what? I'm like, yeah, bro, you can flip it. So then I had to show him. I was like, yo, I bought this property, got into an um, investment group, took the money off, 20000 off of Amex, 0% interest for 20 months, and I flipped that joint four times. Matter of fact, I'm going to post that check soon. Like, mm. my first check from flipping 20 was $36,000. I have to post mm. the receipt, right? Mm. Kept the 16. Success leads receipt. Kept the 16, right? And I ran it back because I had 20 months of 0% interest mm -hmm. uh, for $20,000. For $20, the monthly note was $200. So now that I have that, now I can go back you to my can. people. This joint works, y'all. I checked the check clear. The check clear. The check Look cleared. at this. I got it. Yeah. Going back to the village. The check is clear. The check is clear. We have hope. Let's run. <laughs> let's run it back. Yeah. So now we now we changing a whole different mindset. Now there's different people following. There's different people in the comment section. Like, what are you talking about? So you know that conversation is harder to change mindsets. Mm -hmm. Like you get a salary in a day or two. Yeah. But and then you give them the money now you got to tell them what to do with it you got to put them in position yeah, yeah. so yeah, that's a whole a yeah, whole other ball yeah. game hold on the topic so now right you getting you getting people to fund you getting people to business credit right mm -hmm. and first off I appreciate that in general because I would honestly like do you keep a track of how much you're funding oh yeah my um, my lenders they always my goal is ten million this year right mm -hmm. so I'm about at four million this year so mm -hmm. far that's this year that's this year. So what was last year? Last year, oh, last year was crazy. Last year was about six million. Mm. So when I so did you had six, four in four, yeah, four in four months, four and four. Right, because I, I, I kind of knew what I was doing, but I didn't know what I was doing. Uh -huh. I was like, oh, now, I, now I know what I'm doing, and I got systems in place now. Uh -huh. I got employees now. So now, this, if I don't hit ten million, I think it's a very disappointing year. Yeah, because now I got systems and stuff in place. Like, oh, you got gonna, four and four. Yeah. I'm gonna hit it. That means at bare minimum you eating twelve. You getting twelve, 12 and twelve. Yeah, I know I'm gonna hit twelve. At bare minimum. Yeah. So I'm undershooting my goals, but mm -hmm. I should be like, no, I'm hurting fifteen, twenty. Like, like shoot no, for I'm the saying, stars. I'm yeah. saying twenty. Yeah, I'm saying I'm yeah. Saying, yeah, yeah. I'm right with you. Yeah. Actually, actually, I'm more so like twenty four. Really? Yeah. Why not? Twenty four. Twenty four. Two in uh, two every. To every month. Well, actually, now you got to bump it up to do a couple fours, and then you can go back to and the two. Back but to, you yeah. can do that. You can I, do easily, that for bro. sure, for sure. The banks are opening up again. Mm -hmm. They're lending more money. So the person that would have got 50 during COVID, they're going to get 100 now. Mm. Like, my lenders called me. They're like, yo, they're they about to print it again because mm. the world's about to open up. Those are COVID numbers last year, what I did last year, because they weren't really lending. Mm. Now, it's, it's going to be. So when you're you saying it's going to be 20... So you're right. It more likely could be 20, bro. You said something, and now it's starting to make sense. When we first started talking, before we started talking, uh -huh. you said the world's about to open back up. Things yeah. are getting good. I'm, I'm thinking, hey, I mean, restaurants been open. Like, yeah. yeah. You talking about a different type of open now. Open up, yeah. We about to open up this 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 vault. Vault, right? You saw so what the vault. Airbnb CEO posted mm -hmm. today. He was like, "Yo, we're gonna need millions of spaces like this." Because the world's about to open and we don't have enough on Inventory. our platform. Yeah. Is that mm. nuts? I wonder if they're going to get to the point where they're going to try to start helping people get their spaces. For example, Uber and Lyft, they provide vehicles, vehicles for people for now. People. You got to pay for it. But yeah, they yeah. provide vehicles now. One of my tenants, 
he actually was doing Uber mm -hmm. and they gave him a car and he had right. to pay four hundred dollars a month or something like mm -hmm. that. But then he had a brand new like Kia, Kia, yeah, like twenty nineteen. Like, Isn't that a crazy like that. program? They give you the car, you pay the note, and you can make your little income. Or some people just do it just so they can get a car. Yeah, yeah. Like but I can that, make four hundred real quick. It's 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 crazy how yeah. it's set up. However, I wonder if um, Airbnb, Airbnb is going to do, do something that like help like. We're going to give you first class security loans. We'll do first class security loans. Hey, for people that's going to be subleasing other people's units, we're going to give you first class security loans so you can get started in Airbnb so you can put it on. You see, you, know? you see why you play. Let me let's let's, let's stop this interview real quick because I already see that's a program real listen, quick. Listen, hey, anybody trying listen, to start Airbnb? Listen, DM listen, me, swipe up real quick. Listen, Airbnb. I want my I want, I want my you check. Want that, I want the check, right? Listen, that's a good situation. <laughs> First day security loans. Yeah. You no, know, two, four, six thousand, uh, fifteen, forty five hundred loans. You know, people rent fifteen hundred, two thousand yeah. for a nice, you know, a nice situation. That might be a good thing. We just thought a, about something. Yeah, bro, it's a nice we little need to work together and, and, and pitch that. <laughs> Build so that you want, loan. Yeah, yeah. Mm. No, nah, no. Nah, I promise you, I'm gonna call my lender. I was like, yo, can you work? Build something mm. out for me real quick. He'll do mm. it. So mm. dude, what's we'll rap? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a that's a good uh, we'll rap. We'll this rap. is this is what mastermind, this, this is, is what, what conversation is. is for. Yeah. So look now, right? So that I was saying, I want to say I appreciate you for doing that because you are literally putting people in position. I know, like I never even told you this. I know a several so I'm one of them type of guys where like I believe I'm not a tit for tat guy. Mm -hmm. I show love. I'm not expecting you to give anything back because I truly appreciate you and I truly appreciate what you're doing for the world. You know what I mean? Not just the community, not just for a small group, for the world. And it's been several people that I referred to you and they called me back and they have literally was. I never called you about because I'm not the type of guy like, yo, listen, this yeah. person worked out, like, hook me up. Right, right, right. But it's literally, I can start name dropping That's people. That's crazy, bro. I can literally name drop people right now that I went through Herman, my credit jumped up. I went through Herman. I made some money off him, not off of him, but like I went to his mentorship. I made some even before the mentorship. I went through That's Herman wild. and he got me um, uh, X amount of dollars, fifty thousand dollars, hundred thousand dollars. I went through Herman and this happened. Like I got, I got receipts for days. That's what's up. Anytime bro. somebody calls me about business credit I, or, or credit in general, I say, look, this is honestly to get honest truth. Yeah, yo, listen, I got, I got two people. I got three people. I got this person. They can fix it. They a little cheaper, but I got this guy. It's a thousand, but when I tell you, you leave it alone. You don't got to right. call. You don't got to follow up. Like, both people can get it done, but I'm, this guy, if you're really, if you willing to, you know, go up a little bit, you're literally in God's hands. Right, right, right. And some people don't. Some people do. Mm -hmm. And then the ones that do, they always call me back. Yo, bro, good luck on that. Yo, bro, good luck on that. Yo, I went to, good luck on going, I went to his class. I just was with one of the guys, one of my uh, friends, his birthday was the other day, and mm -hmm. we all went to um, this little, I don't say, like a lounge, we mm -hmm. went to a lounge. It's crazy, because I don't even drink. Well, I drink, but right now I'm doing a sunny Friday challenge. Okay. So I was in there just all water. <laughs> but yeah, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was, though. Okay. But long story short, one of the guys I invited, he went to one of your classes. He might have went to your first one. Okay. The first one, uh, you had our space, right? Yeah, and he yeah. went, I invited, I told him to go. Um, probably like five people in that room, I had told him to go there, right? And he was like, yeah, he got me like 20000 That's what's up. Man. How much is the tickets? What? $500, yeah, $400, $500. whatever it was. He said, I got me 20000 from that class. Good luck. Yeah. I just want to remind you about that. So, like, what you doing for the world is ridiculous. Like, he went in, him and his, uh, his folks, his sister, I forgot who it was, opened up a daycare. Like, you see what's yeah, going on yeah. from, but people were, but, but the, 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 the key word, the key statement I want people to understand is, they paid $400. They paid $1,000. They went and got the income. They yeah. went and opened up something that's going to go out past them. Out past them, bro. Think, think about the back end. I mean, the experts. Think about the, the back, back end. end. Think about the back end. So mm -hmm. I just want to definitely say thank you. You know, I'm speaking for everybody. Like, you're really doing a lot of great things for people. We're putting people in position. So now people are getting money. They got the credit fixed. They getting money. They reinvesting into all different types of stuff like mm -hmm. what do you so people going through your platform what do you honestly are you recommending things for people to do or are you just like yo here go the money you just figure it out or are you like yo listen you should tap into this or you tap like you are you recommending stuff to people so now i am <clears throat> okay before um, you just was like yo, before i would it. just fix it for that or i would just get you the bag mm -hmm. right so 
but then you know the market speaks to you mm-hmm. right so you gotta pay attention to the market mm. so um people be like I literally had somebody be like, all right, well, what do I do with the money? I was like, what do you do with the money? I just got you 30000 0% interest. It's going to be 0% interest for nine months. The clock started the day I gave it to you. You should have had a plan before that. Mm-hmm. And I was getting those type of conversations often. And I was like, okay, I got to start. Because they come into you because you're a subject matter expert. Right. So I was like, okay, well, I got to start pointing these people in the right direction. Now, at the time, I was only doing real estate. So mm-hmm. I was like, listen, all right, you got this bag. You can go to him, him, or her. Right. So they could flip the money for you, right? Mm-hmm. Um, so I started vetting calls. So I was like, so what do you need the money for? Well, you know, people just see the shiny object on Instagram. Yeah. So I had to coach them out. I was like, listen, when you have a plan, call me. Because I could just give them the money just to, and I make my little commission yeah. off of it. But again, I'm just thinking about now. I could build a relationship for a long time. So that person's going to refer at least three people to me. So I got to take care of them now he while I got them. life. He literally held my hand from start right. all the way to... Finish. Right. So now, you know, I tell people, I was like, there's only two things I invest in, right? Um, that I'm confident in real estate. And I recently got into trucking. So I tell mm-hmm. people that's what this, that's what I do. So I'm only going to tell you about that. Um, I mess around. I just started messing around in crypto 30 days ago. I just started messing around in stocks last year because we is home. Sentence. I did the same exact so thing. So I had to I learn something new. I was like, thing. let me learn something. So I was like, oh, this stock game is pretty interesting. Mm-hmm. So I played around with it. Nothing all crazy, but stuff had to make sense. All the airline stocks was down. The world going to open up next year. Let me buy some airplane stock. That's Bought some AMC stock for like $4 last year. Bought like 100 of them, mm-hmm. right? Um, AMC is up to $10 today because the movie theaters are going to open up again. I know exactly. that. You know what I'm saying? So I, I did I did that type of research. You know what I'm saying? Started following Wall Street Trapper. He started giving some game. Mm-hmm. I got this little mentee. He, he learned options very, very well. So he's doing options. You can really you he's can running really, it up with options. Like, but you can that, really do some things. Yeah, that take you have to really sit down and learn that. So yeah, I, that's I a different ball. That's game. a different, that's ball, a different game. ball game. So um, I only t- I, I point people to what I know. Wholesaling, real estate, trucking. So I'm like, these are the these are the players in those games. Go knock yourself out. You do really mm-hmm. well. Mm-hmm. So, you just said something I forgot. I, cause you keep that on a, you touch on it, but you keep it mostly on the low. The real estate. Mm-hmm. I totally forgot that that ain't nothing new for you. No, right? no, no. I've been doing that. When when did you acquire your first property? My first. I'm 40. My first property I acquired when I was 25. Mm. Yeah, I've been doing real estate a long so time. So this ain't new for you. Yeah, this not new. What I'm realizing about you is none of this stuff is new. Right. Like. People started noticing five years ago, but fixing people credit, mm-hmm. having good credit, getting into real estate, you know, just being financially literate, literate yeah. is nothing new. Nothing like new, yeah. this stuff you've it's been tapped nature in. To me, yeah, yeah, you've been tapped in. Mm-hmm. So was that first property a property to move into or an investment? So uh, the first property I got was during the rece- the, the Great Recession. I got mm. it in 2007, right before the world came to an end, mm. right? And the markets tanked, right? Um, fixed up the property, um, got it super cheap. Um, uh, my mom gave me the rehab money. She took a 401k. She mm-hmm. believed in the dream, fixed up the property. Um, boom, I put it up on the market. No one could get a loan. I had a nurse that was making $90,000 a year. $90,000 a year 15 years ago. That's good money. Good money. The bank, would, good money. the bank would not approve her. So I had to, in real estate, you have to have an exit strategy. It was either cash out, refi, or rent it out. Mm-hmm. I ended up renting it out. So I rented it out. I was making a nice chunk of change because I got the property so cheap. Like the mortgage was like 400 mm. and I was renting it out for 12. Mm. So I was up. Right. Um, and then um, after I got married, we moved into that. So, okay. you know, God has his high handwriting on the wall for everything. Right. And then after I got married, I never we moved heard into, that one before. Yeah. Like he 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 had it all planned out. There was a I reason like I couldn't sell it. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna make it even crazier. So why why he didn't want me to sell it. So when we moved in there, we was there for a year. Um, and then after that, we just, we love going to, um, open houses. Me and my brother always do. We go to the million dollar houses. Just yeah, for, that's my thing. You know, just for shits yeah. and giggles, right? So it was my brother's week to pick a house. So he picked like the regular joints, you know, in, in, in the suburbs. So I walked in a house and it was beautiful. Me and my wife fell in love with it. We were not even looking. We ended up selling that investment property from 15 years ago. I made like a $60,000 profit. I used that to put the down payment in the suburbs. Isn't that crazy? So... That's why God didn't want me to sell it. He had plans. Mm. And now my entire... See, everything just... Everything, yeah. Now my entire peace. family, my sister, my nephew, my mom, my dad moved in. I had two kids in that house. So that five-bedroom house was full. I remember when we first got it, my wife was like, we'll never fill up a five-bedroom house. God, God knew what was up. So double back. 
you bought the house. This is when you was working at the. Uh, I was a software. social worker. I was a social worker back then. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. 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 And cool, then cool. I became a software tester later on. In oh, life. I, that's a big shift. Huge shift because. Sorry, we're gonna shift topics a little bit, right? No, no, that's a, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's a huge shift. That's a huge shift. That's, that's yeah. a, we about to really be here for we about this about to be four hours. Four hours. That's a huge shift, bro. So, um, uh, became a got my master's degree in social work administration, mm -hmm. right? Um, I had a lawyer friend, Charlene. Shout out to Charlene. She said, "You'll only make as much as your clients make," right? Ooh. So I'm a social worker. My clients are poorer people, Ooh. right? So I was an executive director of a social work agency, um, $3 million budget. You know what I'm saying? I had like five or six staff, right? But I was making $55,000 a year. Mm -hmm. I had my master's degree. I was an executive director. Mm. That was cap. That was it. Yeah, there was no going up. Do, I don't think social workers go past that. Right. So that was the best I can do. And I was like, dang, I made the wrong choice. Unless it's crazy overtime. Unless like. it's crazy overtime. So, um... My mom um, um, told me to go get my taxes done at this spot, not to bore you. He, he, he taught software testing also. I was like, is that legit? He's like, yeah, it's legit. Taught me software testing in like six months. My first job was 80,000 and my second job was a buck 25. Here we go. And then I went and told Here my whole go. spot about it and now half the Haitian community in Philly is doing software testing, making 100,000. Your whole life is putting people on. You got to, bro. Your whole, to. your whole life is putting people on. So I, I'm, we're going to get right back into this real estate, yeah, but yeah. we keep saying things that's transitioning, <laughs> but I want to get back to the real, real estate, estate. Yeah, yeah. you know, because that's my game. That's, that's what I do. So I want to touch on that. Mm -hmm. But you, your whole life is putting people on, whether it's friends and family and, and um, just strangers, like the right, world. Right. But now you're saying you went back and put everybody on with a software tech you put everybody on with the, the business credit. I'm like, the yo, business when, credit, I find, when you find the game, credit, you got to run back. Have you dealt with people that you're trying to put people on and they just being hard-headed? All the time. Okay. Those okay. days are very hard. Because it All seems, it seems, I'm going to be honest, you know, from watching you, from knowing you, from meeting your circle, from meeting your friends, from meeting your family, meeting, you know, people around you, it seems like you talk, they get it. Mm hmm so is it people that in your friends and family that you tried to put on and bring in that they didn't come or they was being all, uh, all, the, all the time, bro. Um, some people are just comfortable in their situation. Some people don't want to do the work or some people just don't get it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Or some people just want to see, you know what I'm saying? Because when I when I started taking the class, I, told, I was like, hey, everybody, I'm about to do this. Three people came with me. Three. Mm -hmm. We all took it. We all got jobs. Right. And then it worked. First check, I worked four days because I, I orientation was Monday, they didn't pay it. So I worked from Tuesday to Friday. The first check was fifteen hundred dollars. That ain't bad for four days. That ain't bad for four days. And I was like, so you know, you know how people we are. Working two weeks. For two that. weeks. So you know, Some I started doing the math. I was that. like, yo. So I started showing my friends the check. Some people just wait for receipts, and that's yeah. why success has receipts, and why I always post up. That's where that came from because nobody believed in it mm -hmm. until I showed them. I was like, yo, mm -hmm. this is real. Mm -hmm. And then. The, the rest is history. But not everybody. You can't save everybody, bro. They're just, it's not going to happen. I, I realized that about a year ago, a year and a half ago, I stopped trying to save. I stopped trying to be Superman. Mm -hmm. And now I just, I drop care packages down. You open it. It's a it's a jet pack in there for you to fly with me, but it, you have to put it on you your back. You have to bag. put it on your back. You have to start it up, and then you can fly with me. But I'm dropping the care packages, right. and it's up to you if you want to come along with me or not. Right. But, yo, it's crazy because I, 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 yo, it's cr I really just was thinking about this one day. It might have been last week. I was like, yo, man, I love Herman and his whole squad. It seemed like everything he, not like they follow you like mm -hmm. in a negative way, but it seemed like he gives them the light and they, they and jump. And run with it. They yeah. run with it. And I'm like, yo, like, that's hard for people. Like, but you just saying everybody wasn't like that, though. But yeah. I'm like, yo, it seemed like every, like, his squad is so solid and I had people that I tried to put on, and uh, mm -hmm. well, they didn't really listen. Whether it's friends, whether it's family. Mm -hmm. So, but to see, because that's not that's not normal. Regular people tell us that all the time. That's stuff. not yeah. yo. It's like what, like six of y'all? It's a lot. Like, Se it's technically thirteen of us, right? Rock Financial. This is a, our investment company we uh -huh. came up with, right? So I want to speak on that for a little bit because we was talking about the 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 thing I went to last week, the event, the conference, right? Con recession proof. Recession proof, right? Um, Wall Street Trapper says something very interesting. He said that um, in your family, there needs to be standard operating procedures. If you want okay. to be part of this family, just like for any job, 
there's a there's a there's a book there's a handbook human resources gives you mm -hmm. if you want to be part of this family these are the rules right and his family you got to have a trust you got to have llc you got to have um a stock account you got to have all that right and i was like oh that's so deep and i didn't realize that's what it was to be part of this group you need to have a 700 credit score i'm a, i'm gonna get you on my brother's gonna give everybody an llc we're gonna send you to our bank person to be part of this group you need to have these things because when it's time to make a play and I'll be like, yo, boom, input. I need you get 20, you get 20, you get 10, so we can make this move together so we all up. So that's why when you see us on vacation, it's when they took me to Columbia and they putting us on boats, that came everybody, every, it came from the pot. Everybody had it. Nobody, we didn't, we didn't pay for no, yo, bro, don't worry about it. There was no, no, shout out to my social workers, but there was no social worker we had to be like, yo, we'll pay for your, for your part of the yacht. Everybody. No, to be part of this group, there's a standard operating procedure. And I fixed everybody credit for free. I fixed their credit for free. My brother was like, yo, just pay the state fees. I'll do everybody LLCs. These are the rules to be part of this group. That's decent. Mm -hmm. That's decent. That's And also another, he says it's 13, y'all. 13 That's of us. not, that's, that's not, not normal. normal. Yeah, that's not normal. You got 13 friends and family that want to be a part of something way bigger than them. Right. You know how hard it is to get Three, three people I know it's very on the difficult. same page. It's normal to us, but when people like you say this all the time, be like, bro, people DM us, be like, bro, that's not normal. I'm like, what do you mean? Because we, we're church. We all came from church. I've known these guys 20 years. Mm -hmm. So, But even, you're right, even people you know for 20 years, we can't take them with you. But um, I made it a point, like, at minimum, God's going to be like, well, what did you do with the time and the resources that I gave you? I'm like, well, I shared it with everybody. Mm -hmm. He's going to be like, all right, bet. Well done. Because all I can do is just tell you the game. The rest is yours. So... You know, shout out to them for picking up the care package. Right. You know what I'm right. saying? They can't watch me do it and not do it. They're like, well, Herm did it. If Herm mm. could do it, I know I can do it. Mm. So, mm. yeah, that's why I want you to think. Like, yo, I did it. We can do this. Come on, let's get it. Yo, because I, I really be watching it. It's funny. I just was thinking about this probably a couple of days ago. Probably, like, maybe four days ago. I was just like, yo, man, they move so solid. They move so solid. Like, really, as a unit. Mm -hmm. And it's not like these are just some, it's not like, let's say, for example, me and Reek, me and Solid, like we move together, we buy houses together, we do a mm -hmm. lot of different things together. But I just met him three years ago. Crazy. I just met him three years ago. Wow. Maybe two. I met him three years ago. We made money in every type of way you could think of. Every yeah. type of real estate, every type of thing you could think of. Buy houses, rent houses, uh, sell houses, wholesale houses, everything, everything you could think, think of. of. We did it <clears throat> mm -hmm. three years ago, right? So I'm thinking, like, these are some new people you met. Nah, this is goes back as far yeah. as playing yeah. basketball in the, you know, know what I mean? Parents. I'm Stand their parents. Like, I used to be their choir director. I know their parents. These people have been to my weddings, you know what I'm saying? Like, cover them on my gaffa. Like, these are truly. So when I introduce them, I'm like, oh, there's my brother Fitz. Oh, there's my brother Eric. So because they're brothers at this point. They came and called, oh, this is my man's. Now, that's, these are my brothers. Like, yeah. like, when I'm out of town, they go knock on my house door to check on my wife. They're like, oh, my man's not here. Let me go check on his wife because he got his wife and his elderly kids there. So my house is always protected. Mm. My, my guys, they there. They're all strapped up. They're visiting. There's a dude coming in at that house at all hours. Like, when Greg, you know, tall Greg, self-tech? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember yeah. his wife was like, yo, man, the neighbors must think I'm a hoe because there's a different dude coming every night. Like, nah. My man's is out of town. We got to go check up. Make sure you're good. Standard operating procedures of being part of this crew. If I didn't take nothing else away from this, that I'm going to revisit that with myself tonight mm -hmm. and really talk with a couple people. I like that. Mm -hmm. I like that a lot. Um, that's so, I never heard anybody say nothing like that. Yeah, when he said it, it hit. And I was like, yo, that's low-key what we've been doing. So now I'm going to make more of a point of it to be like, yo, this is be on this, point with this it. how we got to be on be point, on with, point it. with it. I like that. Mm -hmm. So let's double back. I really want to stay on that for long. But let's yeah. double back on, so this, real estate, on this real estate. So what do you so, do when you got the bag for people? I tell them this is why mm -hmm. I invest. I invest in real estate and I invest in trucking now. It's work for me. Here are the receipts. You know, here, you know, here's the play for you. Mm. Um, so you can make some bread, some passive income. So, so, so when, when people like, what, what would you? I guess that's a. Well, somebody got fifty thousand dollars, right? Mm -hmm. They went, and they went through everything, the program. They got the fifty thousand mm -hmm. dollars. What would you recommend for them to do? You rather recommend them, recommend them do the real estate or the trucking for somebody that's 
like listen right. like yo herman did just give me the 50 like so it's two things right mm -hmm. it depends on the person's situation so that's part of the consultation when we talk depends mm -hmm. on where they are so in trucking you can get a truck for 50. especially they got it off a credit card they got it off a credit card they got, nine months. Interest, they got, right? nine, they months. got nine months so um i asked them what their situation is so there's some people um you know a truck is a depreciating asset yeah real estate is appreciating right they could You're put them making money. money as it going down right exactly so in real estate, um, if they get in real estate, they're probably gonna net, let's be conservative, they're probably gonna net three, 400 a month off the real estate deal, right? Yeah. They'll get the 50 back, cash out refinance. That's for the, at bare minimum, banks will consider that's bare minimum for it to be a, a deal for them. A deal for them, right, yeah. right? So they're gonna make a little cash flow coming in, they have an asset um, appreciating, right? That's mm -hmm. if they didn't Airbnb, if they Airbnb, mm -hmm. it's gonna be more, right? Way more. Let's, let's, let's come be that conservative, right? Or you can get a truck, for fifty thousand, that truck conservatively will make you four to five thousand dollars a month mm. net, right? So I it's actually just a cat. It's a time limit, and there's a time it's limit. A that truck will run five, seven years. So mm. you'll definitely make the fifty back. Hell yeah! Right. So I tell them, I was like, well, what's I like to look at what their situation is. So I do both because trucking gives me a steady, larger cash flow, which I in turn put into real estate. That gives you the retirement plan. Which give me the retirement play. So that's how I do it. So I tell people, so where are you right now? So people who are not as cash strapped or I'm trying to leave my job tomorrow, you know, I'm like, all right, well, do the truck and play. You get a nice chunk of change coming in and it gives you more flexibility, mm -hmm. right? Somebody who's more stable, more steady, they're not in a rush. They're trying to wealth build because that's a long play. I'm like, yo, put it in the real estate. You know what I mean? Now you have the asset, pay off the credit card, run the play back, get another 50, mm -hmm. go get a truck. Now you're mm -hmm. doing both. And now you're doing what Herman is doing. That money is continuing to cycle and the pie is getting larger and larger. Because I buy one truck, I'm buying one real estate property. Buying another truck and it just continues to grow. Mm. So what's a quick hack? Like what's something that like pretty basic, like mm -hmm. like a one, two, three step, like somebody could do like one, two, so part one, getting their credit. Somebody's like at a six hundred. Like mm -hmm. they're not at the point where they need super credit repair, like mm -hmm. they had a 500, like everything's better, but they had a 600, but like, yo, I just want to go from six to seven. Like, what's, I just what's, go from six to seven. yeah, okay. what's some quick hacks like somebody can do, like that, a general, obviously you don't have somebody report, like what's some tidbits, advice you can give somebody? I'll give you a couple of things. So, mm -hmm. number one, <clears throat> let's assume this person has a collection on their credit report. Mm -hmm. Those are low hanging fruit that takes a lot of points away from you, right? Yeah. Collections are not supposed to be on your credit report, it's against the law. Fair Credit Reporting Act. It is 18 pages long. Read it. All the rules are there. So literally, the, 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 you're paying me, not, for, not necessarily for my expertise, but me doing the work for you. Because law section 83976 says, you can't, I can't owe you money if we never sign a contract. Mm. Right? Not, you know, somebody's lawyer. Somebody's lawyer, yeah. They're just professionally repeating, repeating what happened that day. What happened <laughs> that day, exactly. So collection, yo, I don't owe this debt. They don't have proof. Collection agencies, um, credit um, uh, uh, bureaus are going to contact the collection agency. You have proof that this belongs to him? No? All right. It's got to come off. Medical collections, not supposed to be on your credit report because it violates your privacy. Easy way to fight these things mm. so they come off, right? These are easy ways to get 40, 50 points. Um, after you write the letter, they're not getting off. Get on the phone with the credit bureaus. You're going to be on hold an hour or two, but that hour or two is going to give you 50 yeah. points. And that, in turn is, and that converts into literal dollars mm -hmm. later on. 50,000. Right. right. So get the collections off, right? Um, another quick hack: clean up your demographic information on your credit report, right? So my name I is Herman that from Marcus. Yeah, my name is Herman Dolce Jr. So if if there's Herman Dole or Herman or Junior Dolce, clean all that stuff up. All those old addresses, call them up. Clean all that stuff up. How do you clean it up? You send them your driver's license and your utility bill. That's proof of my current address and my real name. Clean mm -hmm. all that stuff up. It makes it easier to clean your credit report. Step two. Get one or two trade lines on your credit report, right? Only to, to, to get the jump in your scores. Some people get trade lines to necessarily help them get funding. The credit bureaus and the banks got hit to it. They can tell if the card belongs to you or not. Mm. Just get the card so that your scores will jump up. Okay. Now that that's done, start going to credit. Now you have to build your credit yourself, right? You, you got to have some primaries on there. I always recommend going to these lower tier banks, which are credit unions, Get a relationship with them, open up a bank account, open up, get a credit card with them, right? Navy Federal got kind of hip to that. So if you open up a Navy Federal account, wait like 30, 60 days, 
because they want to make sure you're cool and you're they don't really, get a credit card. Really. Yeah. And then now you have like five, six thousand dollars, seven thousand, and you doing that to two, three banks, you up fifteen, twenty thousand dollars like that, and your credit score is seven hundred. Mm. And the older the credit card, the higher, the, higher the limits, the, the stronger it's gonna get. Mm. And then you're gonna move into the business credit world. You're not gonna worry about your credit no more. Personal. Now you're only playing in the business credit world and then it's a different ball game. It's crazy because the way that so I was talking to Newt and I was telling Newt how um I got a hundred thousand dollars in credit, right? Mm -hmm. And he said he got like one sixty, one something up there, right? Mm -hmm. And I was telling him, I said, the way y'all get this stuff now is different from how I got situated. Mm -hmm. He was like, what you I said, because y'all apply at different times, y'all do stuff, which I know how to do now, yeah. which is great, but y'all, that's how I got started was, um, I went in and applied for, I got a credit card for $300, $500 mm -hmm. secure card, yeah. three months, went up to 1000 three months, went up yeah. to 5000 three months, went up to 10000 three yeah. months, went up to 30000 and did that on a couple cars, with a couple different credit, a couple different banks. Right. Now, but that's a long, I don't say long, but that's a 12 month play. Right, but the way yeah. I look at it, like I used to make $27,000 at my old job, $25,000. So $30,000 off of four phone calls, like, right, you yeah, I don't care. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And I do that with a couple different places. But the way y'all doing it now is like, all right, let's skip 12 months. Let's do yeah. that in one call. Oh, yeah. One day. He was saying he went in his one card he got, his first card was 21,000 in, in one, like, one swipe. Yeah. Like, the way you guys are doing that now, um, what's one thing you can say that can, you can't guarantee, but that can help set that up, getting those higher limits, like, off the right out the bet? So, it's a crazy hack, right? Mm -hmm. Don't record this. No. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> A lot of these programs are no doc programs, right? Mm -hmm. These credit card companies, right? Mm -hmm. What you say you make is what you say you make. Mm -hmm. So Navy Fed, how much do you make a year? Oh, I make a buck fifty, because they're gonna give you credit based on how much you said you make, mm -hmm. right? And they're not gonna ask for verification. Number two, there's a lot of self-employed people out here, right? No, don't say you're self-employed. Self-employed means your income go up and down, and that's scary to a bank. So I'm self-employed, but I don't tell banks that. I tell them I'm a CEO of Bellastone Enterprises. I'm the president of Olivia Monroe Enterprises. Wait a minute. Yes, stop saying. Wait a minute. Yeah, Let me, I got. I got. You're I got right there. Yeah. Right yeah. Stop saying you're self-employed. No, you're you're the president of Boone Enterprises. You're the CEO of Derek Boone. Blah blah blah. Mm. So you got you have a job. You have a salary. You're more you're more, you're more comfortable. Self-employed people, it goes up and down. I never heard that. Yeah. So a lot of people so say everything you said but that part. Yeah, the employment and is important. And people so hyped to put self-employed on there. Yeah, they, exactly. You're just hyped, but it actually hurts you a lot. Yeah, they. Uh, I'm, I got an LLC. I'm, yeah, I'm me now. I'm me. I'm a boss. Yeah, yeah. No, nah, no, nah, you're CEO or you're... It's best to even put CEO or president. Don't even say owner because owner is, is damn near um, self-employed. Yeah. I'm the CEO of this or I'm the president of this. I'm the vice president of that. Mm. A title. And every, I tell people, all my all my mentees, nobody make less skip, than a buck fifty. People skip that part. People mm -hmm. skip that part. I never, I literally, no. Nope, yeah. Every I heard everything else you said, mm -hmm. but I never heard that part where don't put self-employed because self that's definitely an option on there. You're right. When you're applying for card, self-employed, mm -hmm. self-employed. Mm -hmm. Now, do you recommend hitting all that in one one setting or branching it out, like uh, cards, like applying for stuff? So, yes and no. So if you got the play where you know that Bank of America pulls TransUnion, Key Bank pulls Equifax, Freedom Credit Union pulls Experian, Experian yeah, do it in one swipe. Mm -hmm. Do it in one day. Because one, one, one inquiry on three different credit reports. Yeah. And now you got three bags, mm -hmm. right? So, and then now do you could do that round if you got the, if you got the plays, you get a, you get a three inquiries on three different credit reports. That's nine credit cards, three mm -hmm. inquiries basically mm -hmm. on each credit report. So you're up something crazy yeah. with only three inquiries. And then once they age out six months, the banks don't even pay attention to them anymore. Those inquiries, because they're six months old, run the same play again at more banks. Yeah, I got it. This is like a sidebar. I got a question. Can you, I guess it wouldn't work. Could you remove the inquiry before the card comes? I know people who run that play, right? I did it for a car. A car? Oh yeah, yeah. The cars you could do that all day. I, I, got, yeah, I, yeah. I got, I got a car, yeah, yeah. a car note, but I re removed the inquiry before it hit. Yeah, yeah. It hit. That you can run that all day. Yeah. Credit cards. I know a lot of people who do it, but it's kind of risky because they might shut down the card. Okay. So I, my, my advice is never try to get an inquiry off 
for a credit card, personal credit card that you got approved for, because it might be a chance they'll they'll close they the catch card. It. They'll catch it. Um, but that's you know some people have been successful. I'm not gonna say they haven't. You got like a small window. Yeah, you got a small window. Like, do it immediately. Literally. Yeah, do it immediately. Mm. Experience 20, 24 hour hack. Link in the bio. Uh, <laughs> um, business credit cards. Oh yeah. Yeah, take that take right that off. Right off yeah. Take that right off. Mm-hmm. So, yo, man, this is a lot of game. This is a lot. Of, this is a good conversation. Yeah, good this is a good conversation. So, I just want to say I appreciate you for you know having our usual conversations that matter. Absolutely. I would say, um, and just literally like I said, just blessing the world. Like I don't even. I'm pretty sure you realize, but I just want to personally say like, there's a lot of my friends. A lot of my family that literally got some results from mm-hmm. talking to you, joining one of your programs, or even just watching a live. Like I had, you know, know something crazy. Um, if you ever have time, want to see you get like on a thirty-minute Zoom call with my group. Oh, somebody, okay. somebody, uh, somebody in my group, like, and I teach wholesaling, right? Mm-hmm. Teach real estate, and some of my group was like, um, once a month, I do something different outside of real estate wholesaling. So once. Because I, I believe in teach, being one way, is we're, your people paying to be learn this, mm. but I feel like I'm a bad individual, bad mentor if I don't throw in something else I'm personally doing. You see what I mean? So like once a month, I go ahead and say, hey, look, tonight we are going to talk about, you know, real estate wholesaling because we get on a call once a week for an hour. Mm. And hey, tonight we're not going to talk about real estate wholesaling. Look, I'm going to just give you all a little quick credit hacks. Mm-hmm. I'm doing my credit. I feel like y'all should go and touch on it. Hey, next month, we're not going to talk about, we're gonna, I'm going to throw in just a little bit of event space stuff. Like, whatever it is that I'm doing, and I'll just pop it in. Um, and one person had text, not text me, uh, wrote on a Facebook group the other day and said, can you touch on Divi? I said, I said, I, 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 I pull it up. Look, I said, yo, bro, I'm going to be honest with you. I know the concept of it. I know how it's set up. I went through it. Right. But I don't got enough to be teaching it. He's like, well, any little bit of game helps. I'm like, yeah, I know how it works. I know how it's set up, but I can't be sitting there teaching and guaranteeing yeah, I'm getting yeah, you 50 grand. Like, right, 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 right. So they was like, well, if you give me anything that helps, I gave him like a little tidbit that I knew, but like, like that's the point I'm trying to make. Mm-hmm. Ain't nobody heard about Divi until you said it. I'm That's pretty crazy. I'm pretty sure nobody now, heard about man. Divi. It's I'm like, actually going to go back and she's like, how you even heard about that place? I'm pretty sure nobody heard about Divi until you actually right. said something. Same way why you are expert in your space, because mm-hmm. you dance and you playing in it. Mm-hmm. And somebody probably told you about it. And now it worked. Oh, let me go tell my mentees, right? Mm-hmm. And they've never heard it before, so you're the expert. So same thing. I'm 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 always looking for new plays. A mm-hmm. um, couple of YouTube channels I, I watch. I'm like, oh, let me go bring it, bring this back to my people because mm-hmm. there was a lot of people who credit was still in a bad situation, right? They're trying to get this business funded. They couldn't get it because it was a hurdle. So I was like, all right, let me find some credit cards that you guys can get put on mm-hmm. in the meantime. So Divi is a, is a great one. Um, make sure your bank account, here's some game you could bring back to the group. Make sure that your checking account, your business checking account is um, three months old. Because okay. they're going to check to make sure anything over three months old, you can play a game with the ball. Even with, with any amount in it. Uh, yeah, the more in it, the better. Right. So you teaching them how to manufacture spend, you're getting them $100,000 in, in, in credit, right? Mm. You're showing them how to get the cash off the cards. Mm. Um, tell them to dump it in the business checking account and then apply for Divi. Why you got the balance in Why there. Why you got the balance in there. Now Divi's going to be like, wow, this, this person got 20, 30, 40 bands in here. Yo, here's a $20,000 card. Here's a $25,000 card. All right, you can put that money back on your credit card now. Just flowing the money. Just flowing the money. Just flowing the money. And then y'all, you just expanded your credit game. So. And then, mm. Yeah, so everybody's on Divi now. Divi's been a blessing. Real quick. Yeah, yeah. 60 second blessing, real quick. Right, 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 right. Yeah, but yo, man, this was great. Absolutely, bro. This was great. Like, you really gave a lot of game, a lot of. Inf- like, the game and the information on the credit was, was, was really important, but one thing that you really said that stuck with me um, was just basically bringing stuff back to the team. Mm-hmm. Standard but operating procedures. Standard operating procedures. Putting SOP. people yeah, mm-hmm. putting people in positions where they can win, but also making sure they understand that it's cold to be in here. Mm-hmm. It's not just something we just hanging out at the yeah, work. Yeah. It's not just something hanging out we had the basketball court. It's not just something hanging out we had happy hour. It's codes and procedures to be a part of this family. Mm-hmm. That's something that people, I know I don't do that. Mm-hmm. My friends and we just hang out, we make money together, we don't make money together. We just, we fit in where we fit in, right? Mm-hmm. I bring game back, they bring game back. And it, but how you saying it like, yo, this is, 
this is a, a, a empire. Like mm. this is, you know, you really have to go through procedures to be a part of this. Part of this, yeah. And I honestly think that a lot of people, a lot of groups, a lot of friendships that tie in with business don't last because they don't do something like that. Now I'm thinking back on a lot of things, not just myself, but other things that I see with other people. You ever see people in groups, mm -hmm. like two friends, they do open up business, they're good for a year, and then it just goes left, mm -hmm. it goes right, or the group, it goes yeah. left, it goes right. But I'm thinking probably then because they didn't do that. Right, standard operating procedures. You know who actually put me on to that, bro? Rick Ross. Rick Ross in an interview said, this is how you make sure your team doesn't get divided. Everybody got to eat, right? Mm -hmm. So if there's an alpha, right? And sometimes there's nothing wrong with there, there being an alpha in a group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if the alpha is just speeding his team, anybody can manipulate anybody on your team. Like, oh, gonna go I get you that. more bread here anyway. Oh, he not really. No, like, not, not only is Herman feeding me, but Herman's teaching me how to eat, right? So I know how to do this on my own. So I'm mm -hmm. an alpha in my own sense. So I'm just giving games so my team could eat, so we could eat together. Mm. So like, it's not like, yo, we going to Herman's mansion. No, we going to your mansion this time. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing like 13 dudes fighting over a bill. You know yeah. what I mean? That's, that's, that's just unbelievable. Yeah. Or the, the, when I mean um, these guys treated me like a beautiful woman, bro. Like in Colombia, like everybody paid for something. Somebody paid for bottles this night. Somebody paid for the yacht this night. Somebody paid for it. It was crazy. So in that moment, because I got to chill for five minutes while I was celebrating my 40th. I'm like, all right, these are my fruits. Look at my fellas. You know, I was I was proud in that mm -hmm. moment, but that's because I executed on that SOP plan. Like, yo, everybody got to do this or else we're going to falter. Mm -hmm. There's going to be cracks in us. Somebody didn't get put on, so they feel some type of way. Like, oh, you showing off your bread. Nah, there's no, there's no hate. We all got it together. We all eat in the same way. I love that. I love that. Um, a couple of things you said, but that's something that's really going to stick with me. I, I'm going to see how I can implement that um, to make my team, make my group even more solid than what it is. Because mm -hmm. I really love what y'all got going on. I don't, I don't really, I don't know anybody else that moved like you guys. I'm going to be hands. I know a lot of people. I don't know nobody more than three heads at one time. Of mm -hmm. course. You got two people that move tight like that. Tight like, like that. you know, yeah, this is yeah. my best friend, this is my right, brother. Right, right. But get 13 people on the same page, yeah, yeah. that's it's like nuts. an NBA team can't even do that. <laughs> you know what I mean? An that's NBA true, team bro. can't yeah, even yeah. do that. So you got 13 heads on the yeah. same page. That's impressive and that's solid and that represents, that shows that you are a good, I don't want to say alpha like everybody, but you, you are a good individual to put that together and show that they respect you, respect each other enough to keep that together. Right, right. So Thanks. yeah, I definitely just also appreciate you showing that light, you know, for people like me to see and like, dang, like that, cause that's what I like. Making mm -hmm. money is cool. And we can all make money. Mm -hmm. They don't mean it, but putting a group on yeah. to where we all, you pull up 20, you pull up 20, you pull up 20. Cause it, I'm the type of person where I, I'm so used to, I learn how to do stuff on my own. So like something costs a hundred, let me go get the 100000 and I'm mm -hmm. going to go ahead and make the move happen. Not like, oh, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. Right. But not only you just ask them to get 20, 20, 20 out of nowhere, you ask them to get 20, 20, 20 from the plays that you put them on, oh. and they just got it. So yeah. definitely appreciate you, man. Absolutely, uh, man. Thank you for having is, me. I appreciate no, no, this, No, 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 no. This seemed like just a regular night we and you talking. Yeah. but. Now we have these conversations all the time, for real, for real. We just recording it now. That's yeah. facts, yeah. Yeah. So now, that's the point of this. For people to finally be able to be a part of next level conversations, that they can go ahead and spark that thought like, yo, he said Divi, let me look that up. Yeah. Or he said this, let me go look that up. Or he said uh, SOP, let me let me tap into that and give my team a Bible. Right, you know, right, let right, me right, get, right. you know, let's, let's do something like that. So real quick, um, what is... Something that you got going on right now that somebody can tap into because you're not doing credit repair anymore, are you? I'm still doing credit repair, but okay, now, okay. It's, now it's automated. Okay. Right. So I got a team. They got to jump it, into the team. Virtual assistant. Like they run it. Okay. Right. So it was crazy about that. Once that part of my business got automated, it freed up my what? Time. Time is the most valuable thing I have, Priceless. right? Better than money, right? So now I'm able to focus on other areas. So mm -hmm. one of the first things I did was start a mentorship group, right? So now with the mentorship group, I'm able to give that freed up time to 20, 30 people every single month. We meet it's every- It's like 
uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays. Tuesdays and Thursday nights, 7 to 9.30. We sometimes always go to 10 because it's, it's great conversation. And I'm teaching them everything that I do. How to start a credit repair company, how to become the bank, how to become a lender, um, how I got into trucking. We got my trucking person come on the call. Mm-hmm. Um, we got Reed come on and talk about real estate. Mm-hmm. New comes on and talk about real estate. My brother come and talks about LLC, setting up your business structure correctly. Mm-hmm. Every marketing runway comes on and talk about how to market your business. Mm-hmm. So we giving them all that game. And there's 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 um, clients, uh, mentees, and you know one of them. While they're learning this stuff, they implement it. It's like yo, this works, and they posting their results. I know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's that's what it's giving my time. Um, it's for 30 days, and then after you're done for those 30 days, you know you give the money to college. They done with you. You on your own with us. Um, we meet. Uh, we do a monthly phone call. You way better than me though. You doing it every week. That's a lot. <laughs> um, but once a month, we we um, follow up. Hey, what you what's been happening the past thirty days? Um, what's working? What's not working? And what we just started doing is something you mentioned. Um, let's let's talk about something else. So last month we had my guy um, Greg um, um, from Self Tech talked about how he got into software testing because I taught him the game. Now he teaches people how to get into the game, so he's teaching that. Um, next month we probably talk about stocks. Next month we probably talk about something different. But at the same time, hey, anybody got any credit repair? business credit questions and that Facebook group and it's, the community is growing as you know and everybody's helping each other out. So that's my fingerprint I'm leaving on the world. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So so the big they could say, yeah, Herman was here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? One thing, um, how you change another one, like, yo, you don't even understand how many people like are literally like, I'm like, yo, talk to Herman and they come back like, yo, it worked. Good luck. And I'm like, <laughs> oh, like I knew it worked but you hype. Like, they're like, no, it worked. It worked. So, one of my um, one of my good friends, right? I called her and I said, because I know she went through your program and she knows some stuff. She mm-hmm. she does her thing, and I said, yo, uh, real quick, I need you to get this inquiry up. I know how to do it myself, but I'm like, yo, I had bought a car, mm-hmm. and I said, look, I got a lot going on today. Mm-hmm. I need you to get this off before it hits my credit. Credit mm-hmm. for the car is my credit, so I got a day. Yeah, yeah. I got a lot going on. I don't got time to be on the phone with experience for yeah, however yeah. long it may take. Sometimes it might take 10 minutes. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it may five minutes. Sometimes it may take an hour. I ain't got it. I ain't got it today. I got some stuff going on. Can you handle it? Yeah, I got you. Boom. They got it all. Boom. Just like that. So your methods. Right. I screenshot the text message saying, I literally said, I got a lot going on today. I need you to get this uh, inquiry off for me. What's your information? Sent them date of birth, social, and everything. I'm like, yo, make sure you delete this too. Yeah. I delete this thread. <laughs> right, right, right. I send them all that stuff. And then I got the next message 20 minutes later, remove. It should be off in three 20 hours. 20 minutes? Yo. <laughs> That's wild. Yo, no lie. She had time. <laughs> no lie. No lie. But then here's the thing. This is the part that this is the part that's going to uh blow your mind, right? Mm-hmm. Rem- remember, she did this on she did this on the eye, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. She did this. She literally did this on the eye, right? Oh mm-hmm. man, where's the dad going? There it is. Boom. Information, information, social. All right. What's your B day? Boom, boom, boom. It's done. Should be off in a few hours. This is a uh, a name that you get off two inquiries. Four twenty eight. Uh, where is that? Slide it to the Should right. Should be done. 503. 503. That's 30 minutes. 30 minutes That's later. 30 minutes. That's 30 minutes. That's what wild. Did she, what, did, what, did, what did she... You saw the name too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What did she... And I screenshot posted. Uh-huh. The next morning, she said, Dear, good morning. I'm like, what's up? She said, guess what happened? I'm like, what's up? Um, she said, I made $1,500 tonight. How? <laughs> Running the play? Because you sent all those people to her. No, listen, listen. She said, I made $1,500 the last night. And she said, that's only what I closed out this morning. Respond- I still got more response to go. Wow. I still have more responses wow. to go. This is just the people that I already called back, but I had to call you in the midst of that. I'm like, how you do $1,500? And she said, your post. I'm like, my post? She said, when you, when you tag me, you tag me, you tag me. I'm like, oh, word, that's what's yeah, up. That's she what's said, up. I'm like, but what happened? She said... They saw that I got off in 30 minutes. They called me. They DM'd me, and I got a million more DMs to go. They DM'd me, and they sent the money so fast. I don't know how many. Oh, I don't know what's her prices, how many people called them, but she said, by, by from her, I'm talking about, this is 60 minutes going through DMs and getting on the call with somebody right, right, and everything right. setting up. 
she made fifteen hundred dollars. That I I didn't even follow up with her how much more she, she made. made after that. I just was like fifteen hundred dollars. So your play, your mentorship helped someone learn a skill that blessed me to go ahead and make a move to then go ahead for me to repost yeah. it for them to double back and be able to receive the clientele Tell that's and- coming it's nuts bro my mentorship is 1997 right one time fee right made it so back when they make, already so when they make, made, yeah issue. so when you know they make mean? it back so again going back to when we talk about credit pay oh that's too expensive people be like oh mentor is probably not for me i'm like all right i got people you just gave me another receipt. She made fifteen thousand, fifteen hundred in a in a in a morning. I got mentees that quit their job. I got mentees like her. Am I making five thousand dollars a month passive? Mm. We're not even talking about the credit repair business mm. or whatever. So I'm like, okay, my price is good. Mm. You know, what I'm saying I might need to raise it. Mm. So because I got the receipt. So it's all about I got another one. Mentees got the truck. Yeah, mentees getting trucks and stuff. Because I learned it at work. Oh, y'all got to do this. This is she actually got a quit a job. Huh? She actually about to quit a job. See. That's crazy when From you get that. Right after your class. Right after my class. And then that's generational mindset. Mm-hmm. Now her kids are going to receive that. Mm-hmm. That's my fingerprint. Mm-hmm. I love it. Yeah, man. Appreciate you. Thank Appreciate you so much, man. Appreciate what you're doing. Uh, just even on the back end, teaching somebody to help me out. So it's crazy how everything revolves. But I appreciate you, man. Keep doing your thing. And um, I was about to say something else to you. I, I'm about to sign up for the mentorship. Yeah. Just 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 <laughs> cuz. Just cuz. Just see what cause. they talking about. Let just cuz. Yeah, let me see what that going Let's on. It's like a secret about. society in this thing. Yeah. But you know, you definitely do your thing, man. Appreciate it. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it, man. No, always. All right, bless. You.